Welcome to a, another Fresh Ideas video tutorial. If you like the video, then share it or like us on Facebook. Um, today we're going to have a look at a social tool called Buffer, uh, which enables you to time your um, tweets or posts to Facebook throughout the day. So it helps you stay a little bit more organized and you don't have to sit and do it manually. Um, now you can sign up using your Twitter account, Facebook, or LinkedIn account, or if you have a Buffer account like we do. I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And once you log in, you come immediately to the Buffer dashboard. And there's two sections here that are of interest. The top section is where you can add your accounts. Now we've added Twitter and Facebook, but you can add another one just by clicking the Add link. Um, as of yet, you can only have Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, but more is coming soon. Down below, you have uh, the tweets or the posts of the different accounts uh, that are to be sent out. Currently, we don't have any, but I'm going to add some. Uh, and you just switch to accounts by clicking the different tabs like this. Now, a few things that are interesting about Buffer is to set it, set it up correctly. Um, so you can go to Settings. Uh, you select the account that you want to modify. I'm going to do set up the schedule and shortening of links for uh, our Twitter account. Now, the interesting thing about using uh, link shortening is that it also gives you a uh, range of different statistics uh, which can be very useful, such as uh, when and how many people clicked on your link. Uh, and to the right, you have the different times at which it will be sent out. Now you can use the social tool such as Social Bro to see the optimum times to post your uh, tweets. Now we've already set up the times that we want to use here but you can just go ahead and switch them around depending on how you want to use it. Uh, the next thing to do is to install the buffer button uh, for your navigator. I'm going to go ahead and install it for Chrome because that's the um, navigator that I'm using but you can use pretty much any big uh, browser. So you just click install now, hit add it, and it'll add automatically to your uh, browser. Uh, but I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do that again. Now, the good thing about having it installed for your browser is that once you find something interesting on a website, as opposed to having copying it out, then logging into your Twitter account or your Facebook account, you can just go up to the top right hand corner, click the buffer icon, just have to wait for it to load. In the meantime, I'm going to deselect the account that I do not want to post to. So just click it like that. Um, and so here we have the tweet. Uh, now it's taken the title of the page if I want to share that. Or you can go ahead and you can edit it right away like that. Now you have two options. You can post now or add to buffer. Now adding to buffer means that uh, you adding it to post it at a later date, uh, which you've set up with the times that we just showed. Now you can either do that, or if you find something interesting on the website in the text, for example, as opposed to copying it out, you just highlight it, go up to the buffer icon, click it again, deselect the account you don't want, now just wait for it to load, and we see that the text that we copied appears in the tweet plus the shortened link, um, and that's pretty much it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to Buffer and show you what it looks like. There we go, I've added it, so I'm going to go back to our Buffer account. I'm going to go over to the dashboard. And we can see that in our dashboard we've added a new tweet um, uh, to our Twitter account and we can obviously edit it, we can post it now, or we can obviously set the time, uh, the exact time that we want it to appear. Now I'm going to show you another thing. Let's see that we want to add another tweet, for example. I'm going to go ahead and do this again. Deselect the account that I do not want. I'm going to add this to buffer again. I'm just going to reload. And now we have our two tweets here uh, that we wanted to be sent at. One's at 6 and one's at 6.30. Now, 
Now, if you wanted to um, uh, reorganize your tweets, you simply drag and drop the tweets or the posts that you have in your in your account. And it's really that simple. Now, this helps you stay very organized. Uh, it helps you target your audience uh, a little bit better, um, and it's just a very useful tool. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you found it useful, share it or like us on Facebook. Thank you.